Hi fellow crafters, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Terry from nutsaboutstamping.com. Today I have a beautiful card idea to share with you, one that has a little surprise inside. This idea was inspired by one of the swap cards I received at Stampin' Up's on stage event this month. You don't want to miss this one. Daisies make any day feel brighter, don't they? To me, it means that spring is finally here. This paper is loaded with happy flowers. One side of each sheet is blooming with daisies, and the other side includes subtle wash designs that complement any project idea that you create. And one sheet, this one here, which you see a portion of, includes multiple individual pieces that you can cut out and use on card fronts. So creating cards using this paper pack is super easy and lots of fun. So I'm gonna be using one of the designs in this pack on today's card. Now the Fresh as a Daisy Designer Series paper is part of a product suite, which includes the Cheerful Daisies stamp set and corresponding dies. You can see the entire product collection on, starting on page 110 in the annual catalog, the current annual catalog that is, and I'm so excited that this bundle is going to be carried over to the next catalog. The flowers, flower centers, leaves, and stems are on separate stamps, so you can create customized flowers, and the phrases are perfect for different occasions, which actually makes this whole suite such a great value for your dollar. I want to start off by using the Cheerful Daisies bundle to create some elements for the front of my card. So I've got two pieces of basic white scrap cardstock, and I'm going to take these dies from the Cheerful Daisies die pack, and I'm going to die cut them out. I'll do that and I'll be back in a moment. There we go. And now I'm going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue and I'm going to adhere these two um, pieces together. One is like the center and one is like the outside. One is a solid, one is more of the detailed layer that goes on top. So I'll adhere those together and I will be back in a moment. All right, now what I want to do next is use one of my small blending brushes and my Daffodil Delight ink. And I wanna add just a touch of yellow to the center of each daisy. So I'm going to put a scrap piece of grid paper underneath so that I can take most of the ink off of the brush before I apply it to the center of my daisies. And now it's time to create the fun fold. My card base is going to be Daffodil Delight. Hopefully you can see a theme here. And what you want to do is you want to use your Simply Scored and you want to score it at the five inch mark. So it's 10 inches by four and a quarter inches and you score it at the five inch mark. That's going to be the base. The next thing you're going to do, and I'm going to walk you through this rather than show you, I think it would be easier. You want to take now a basic white piece, which is nine and three quarters by four, and you want to score it at four and seven eighths. And then you're going to burnish both the Daffodil Delight and the basic white layer on the score line. Now let's talk about how to do this center piece here. Now to create this center slit piece, you're gonna use your pencil and a ruler and you are going to measure in an inch and a half from this side and an inch and a half from this side and you're going to make a pencil mark. Then you're going to make a mark at three quarters of an inch above the score line, three quarters of an inch below. The same on the other side, three quarters of an inch above, three quarters of an inch below. Then you're going to fold it, take your paper snips 
and cut on the line, thereby creating a slit. Okay, I hope that makes sense. You're going to measure down, measure up. Then you're going to fold this, take your paper snips, cut on your line, your pencil line, and that creates a slit that is going to create a pop-up element. So then what you want to do is you want to score this so that when you open up the card base with this inside, it creates a pop-up element. Now what you want to do is you want to pull this up and then you want to fold your card down and then use your bone folder to burnish everything like so so that when you open up the card, it has this little pop-up section on the inside. Then what you want to do is you want to take your multi-purpose liquid glue and we're going to flip this over and we're going to adhere glue on this side and then we're going to adhere it down on the card base so that the score lines match up perfectly. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then I'll walk you through the next step of adhering the bottom. Now that we've got the basic white adhered to the top, now it's time to fold this down, add your adhesive, and then I would lay this down on top like so, and then brush it with your hands so that the two layers stick together. And there we go, we've got the card base with the pop-up element inside. So now it's time to decorate it. To decorate my card front, I'm going to take a piece of basic white, and to that, I'm going to adhere the, my chosen pattern of the Fresh as a Daisy Designer series paper. Yeah, I think I like it that way better. And I'm gonna adhere those two together using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now what you wanna do is take this layer and you wanna adhere it towards the bottom of your card front. And you'll see why in a moment. Now I've got a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock and using the same designer series paper pattern, I want to adhere this Fresh as a Daisy layer onto the Daffodil Delight using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I'm going to use my perennial postage bundle to create the phrase zuz. I'm gonna use two of these for my card. I'm gonna use the Happy Mother's Day and You Mean the World to Me. So I'm going to stamp each of those phrases down on some basic white cardstock using my garden green ink. And now what I want to do is die cut these phrases out using my perennial postage dies. Now the Happy Mother's Day phrase, I'm going to adhere to the smaller Daffodil Delight square that I've created. And then I'm going to take the small daisy and I'm going to adhere it down using my small Stampin' Dimensionals. Now the, the other phrase, you mean the world to me, I'm going to adhere on the card base and then I'm going to use my Stampin' Dimensionals to add the larger daisy. All right, this is coming along beautifully. Now the last thing I want to do before we talk embellishments is to take this layer, I want to open up my card, I want to add some tear and tape adhesive and then I want to adhere this to this little pop-up section so that when you open up the card, you get this nice surprise element inside. Back in a moment. I've decided I'm going to use these in-color dots to add a large yellow dot. This is wild wheat, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna add one there, and then I'm going to add a smaller one to the inside of my card to the daisy. And then I think I will add one final dot like so. 
I just realized I forgot one other element that I was going to put on the front of the card. So let's do that now. I have a piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. I have scored it in half and then burnished it. And I want to add this piece of designer series paper to it using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now what I want to do is take this um, element that I've created and I want to fold it over the top of the card just ever so slightly covering up the top section and I'm going to adhere it on the front and the back again using my multi-purpose liquid glue. Now I want to take some baker's twine and I want to wrap it around just the top section of my card and create a bow. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, and here is the final, final card idea. If you would like a complete listing of supplies that I used and measurements for the layers, along with the product ordering numbers in case you want to order this collection of products so that you can make this card at home, I will link to my blog article in the description box under this video. You can link over there and get all the information you need. Now remember at the beginning of my video, I told you that this card was inspired by a swap card I received. Do you wanna see the swap card? Well, here it is. This is a swap card and when I open it up, it's got this birthday wish inside. So have a look at the products that you have on hand or order these products so that you can make an exact replica and have fun giving this really cool idea a try. I'm Terry. I am nuts about stamping. I'll see you at the next video. Bye for now.